Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great day. I mentioned in my last video about an appraiser that has come and, and spoke with our group and just gave us some information on some of the rules changing and just questions that they get, common questions. And um, they gave us a list of about 30 things. So I thought I'd give you guys maybe, do let's do a video every five items or so and I'll make sure that you guys have that information as well. So one of the things that they did cover is just to be super careful on how we talk to the appraisers, especially when you're the listing agent. Um, one thing to know is that they can report you and they will report you that they, they've done it over and over when they feel like they're being pressured for value. So you just, you want to be careful. Um, also, if, and I had this happen recently actually where a listing agent talked to the appraiser like he was basically an idiot and because he wasn't giving him the value that he felt like he should have or wanted. And so whenever we were trying to communicate with the appraiser on some things, it was super hard to get through to the appraiser. And it's completely wrong that ego should come into play when it comes to appraisers, especially since we're just trying to help out customers. But across the board, it does come into play. And so you just, when, it, when you are the listing agent, you definitely don't want to talk to them in a manner like they're an idiot, just because we need them on our side for sure. Um, one of, the, one of the things too that they said that I thought was just such a profound statement that I feel like could be a quote is the appraiser said that we don't give value. We never give value. We just recognize it in the marketplace of where the house is. And I thought that that was very profound because it's true. They don't give anything value. They don't make anything valuable. They just recognize it. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. But anyways, on to the points that they gave. Number one is with handrails. FHA does not require handrails any longer, but it's still up to the discretion of the appraiser to recognize if it's a safety issue. So just know that if it does, if it is a safety issue, if it looks like a safety issue, they can still call for it. Um, if it is a staircase and there's no handrail, know that they're going to want a handrail there. So just definitely use, you know, you just want to use common sense there because it is something that they can still call for, even though it's not technically an FHA requirement any longer. Um, the second thing that I was looking at was on broken windows. If there's broken windows anywhere, they're going to look at the windows. And if they see broken windows, um, broken seals, or that they don't operate properly, they're going to call for that as well. So just, just know that. Whenever I bought my house 12 years ago, and I thought that the appraiser, there was one window that was broken. And as a buyer, I probably should have pointed it out anyways. But there was a window that was broken and appraiser never called for it. And um, I just thought that that was interesting. So appraisers don't always catch everything, but if they see it, they are gonna ask for it to be fixed. Um, other thing that I saw is on security bars that are on houses, they just have to have the ability, if there are security bars, they have to have the ability to be unlocked from the interior of the house. If they can't be unlocked from the interior of the house, they'll require them to be removed. So just FYI on that. I feel like I've seen several times where security bars have to be removed, and this must be the reason, but it has to be able to be unlocked from the inside for safety reasons, obviously. So anyways, those are, there's three things right there um, that, you know, to think about. If you have any questions, let me know. But um, I just, little by little, we're going to go over several of these just to, just to make sure you guys are aware. All right, I hope y'all are having a great week. Let me know if you need me to pre-qualify anybody for you. I'm here all week long. I will talk to you later. Bye.